days away from the biggest opening blockbuster in a league that's been a game changer, fortune changer. It's a torch bearer of T20 cricket. It's the Tata IPL that kickstarts with two of the biggest legends of Indian cricket who'll be taking the field. One thing is for sure that there's going to be innovation, blockbuster moments, iconic celebrations, and everything else on the field and on the Star Sports Network. Last year's IPL was the biggest ever on television. 505 million viewers across the length and breadth of the country consume more than 420 billion minutes of the Tata IPL. And this year, it's only going to get bigger and better. From your homes, on the home of the Tata IPL, on television, that's the Star Sports Network. Today, I welcome you all to our press room. This is our first new offering which will come to you every week where some of the most credible names from the Indian press industry will get an access to our incredible star cast of legends and experts. Welcoming all our friends from the press to the press room who are joining me here for the first big agenda. That's on the minds of all the fans out there who's going to feature on the Star Sports Network as experts, as those minds who are going to call the shots, call the game, make the plans and take you closer to action. There's going to be relevance. Names who will be calling the shots. Some of them were very recently playing the shots on the field at the Tata IPL. Some of them are still playing the shots across an international cricket. They're still married to the game. So without wasting any further time, it's time for us to reveal the first member of our incredible star cast, one of the greatest of his eras. Needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Steve Smith. Yeah, Steve yeah. Jungle, yeah. Jungle, yeah. Jungle, yeah. Jungle, yeah. <laughs> Sting like a bee. King Kong got nothing on me. King of the jungle man, young man rumble. See you hating on me, but you give me nothing. So I had that fight back, fight, 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 fight back. Put your backs against the wall, better fight back. Yeah, we ready to roll, we wanna fight back, back. Look at those credentials. Look at that face. Look at that smile. Uh, this is the last time, ladies and gentlemen, I assure you that Steve Smith is here with us on the Star Sports Network through technology. Because the next time, once the league kickstarts, he will be here in flesh and blood. But the wonders of technology is Steve, as I welcome you to the Star Sports Network, part of our uh, broadcasting team. Last time, it was a world first. We teleported you from your comforts, probably in Australia, to our studios. And the world thought you were standing right here. Uh, you broke the internet, pretty much. It really is incredible what uh, technology can do. So, yeah, last year was teleporting from Sydney to Mumbai, uh, and this year I'll be making my way to Mumbai. So I'm excited by that and, and, and to be part of the Star Sports team. Tell you what, we're most excited about. You've been in that dugout very recently. You're still such an active member of cricket, always featuring in the Fab Four debates, in the GOAT debates. But one thing that almost everyone takes it for granted is Steve Smith and his preparation. We've heard stories of you sleepwalking with your bat, talking to your bat. How is the preparation when it won't be the bat, but a mic in your hand? How's the prep? Has it begun? Yeah, look, it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, obviously got to be studying up on some players and some matchups and, and all those kind of things. So, no, I'm excited by, by doing something a little bit different and uh, looking forward to getting the mic in my hand, that's for sure. Super duper excited, Steve. Uh, warm welcome to you joining us uh, here, currently in the press room, but part of our incredible star cast as we build up to the opening weekend of the Tata IPL. Two more big windows, a few more experts joining me here. Coming up on this window is a man who was last seen on the night of the final, the last time there was action at the Tata IPL. He had tears in his eyes and the trophy in his hand. Let's go! One of the most successful cricketers to have taken part in the biggest T20 league. It does not get bigger than Ambati Raidu. Because not just the titles, titles that have come with two of the most successful teams in the history of this campaign. Ambati, you can smile a little bit more. It looks good on TV. <laughs> Welcome, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good. Excited? Excited for the show? Excited for this, this new journey? Yeah, I'm pretty much excited. It is new, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited to 
watch the game from the sidelines and comment about it. Uh, well, but we, we're just going to be richer. And very soon when we talk about the opening night, we'll talk about the men in yellow who you spent another beautiful chapter on the night of the final. Uh, I am a little uh, batting heavy. Oh, when it comes to batting, I think I'm pretty much sorted. If you talk about maybe needing impact substitute, getting our lineup ready, don't worry. We just have a few names that we're interacting with today. But overall, at the Tata IPL on the Star Sports Network, we've got a team of more than a hundred commentators, experts, and presenters who will keep you entertained, informed, up to speed, up to date, and most importantly, involved in the game over the next few months. Uh, number three, I need a bowler. We need someone to fire the verbal volley, someone to come up with the game plans. And for that, we need a gun to fire it all. Uh, not just any gun, ladies and gentlemen, it's a steam gun. Dale Sain, once again, welcome to the Star Sports Network. We see your smiling face uh, so many times, but it's always got a smile. Till as recently as the last campaign when you were in the Sunrisers Hyderabad dugout. Dale, I'm sure there is so much more to offer. There is so much more to learn with every season. And I'm sure all those notes are traveling with you when you, when you come over here. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably still not a former coach. I'm probably still a coach. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I've got to take this year off. Unfortunately, my grandmother fell ill and um, I've had to take the decision to stay home and look after her this IPL season. So I'll be back with Sunrises next year. Um, but it is fantastic to be part of a Star Sports um, kind of commentary and, and uh, experts. Uh, I love talking about the game. I love still being involved in the game. And with Sunrises uh, Eastern Cape here in South Africa, we recently won the SA20. So that's also fantastic and um, still kind of thriving off that uh, recent victory. Um, so it's fantastic to be part of it, but I'm going to have to enjoy the IPL from my television screen this year. Well, from all of us here, wishing uh, all the very best to your grandma for a speedy recovery. And uh, this sabbatical, I think we're only richer because for all the fans, there couldn't be anything better than knowing immediately what goes on into the dugouts, how the game has evolved and we'll probably hear it from the horse's mouth. So, we've got these three gentlemen here. The next time you see them here, I could probably just go and even pinch them and you'd probably hear an ouch because they'll be here in flesh and blood. But there are going to be some experts who are joining me here. Uh, everything is almost covered but now we also need a power-packed all-rounder who's actually more in the news for his batting these days than what usually is his introduction, that is his lethal swing with the new ball. You guessed it right, come in a high! You know who I'm talking about. Five hundred and five million viewers who made it the biggest IPL on TV. More than three hundred million on our Hindi feed. So, apne Hindi studio ki jaan. Ajao Irfan Patan. Ajao, ajao, ajao. Mera dekh ke laga intro pasand hai kyunki batting ki baat kiya. Was that a smile thing, Maafe? Huh? Yeah, yeah, happy. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'll just quickly uh, bring Steve Smith and Dale Sain up to speed. Since the intro featured a little more about his batting these days, he's uh, looking. Extra happy. He's always happy. But as today, extra happy. Yeah, because I don't have that much pain anymore in my body now. Because Dale Sin <laughs> understand this, right? <laughs> batting is much easier than the fast bowling. So I'm so happy now when people talk about uh, my batting. So thank you so much, Apit. Look, it's fun. Because it's been a long time. Because we're talking about cricket here, but with the cricket, we watch the whole family with the family. We watch the house with the family, we watch the house with the family, we watch the TV with the family. I mean, from your home, Tata IPL's house, Star Sports Network, so there will be a lot of fun there. Now there will be predictions, so it will start there. There will be a lot of rivalry. And not to forget all the celebrities, I think we've got a special room for all the Bollywood stars who are going to be coming up over the next couple of months. Like, and usse pehle, it's cricket that takes center stage and along with this uh, beginning, or let me just say a little sneak peek, a little trailer of our incredible star cast. There are more than a hundred with credentials and pedigree that matches the stature of the Tata idea.
commentary in the IPL is always going to bring the energy. He's going to bring the banter. It's always going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to join an amazing bunch of people at the Star Sports Combox. And there is a big, big buzz uh, in the air. Or we are very excited. Hai. Obviously, a privilege to be a part of. I am Sunil Gavaskar, and I'm absolutely delighted and excited to be part of the commentary team again. Being recently retired, I still feel really close to the game, so I hope to give you great insights as to what players are thinking, what their game plans might be against certain players and their matchups. I am uh, always very, very grateful and very, very happy and excited. Super excited to be a part of the IPL 2024 and a part of the great Star Sports team once again. <laughs> Everyone's got a good argument to build a case that they will be uh, champions at the end of the day and uh, certainly Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai are right at the top of that list. So watch out the men in blue versus the men in yellow. They'll inevitably be the big stories during the IPL. And I think one of the biggest stories leading into this tournament is Rishad Pan. I think it's got to be the return of Rishad Pan. The change in the captaincy for Mumbai Indians. Uh, शुभमन गिल क्या करेंगे किस तरीके की कप्तानी करेंगे देखिए एज ए प्लेयर तो हमने उनको खेलते हुए देखा है एंड वी नो दैट व्हाट ही कैन डू विद द बैट और अब ये नया एक चैलेंज है नया एक पहलू जुड़ा है डज इट इवन नीड एन आउटलिंक यू सीन इट एंड द बेस्ट बिट वाज स्टीव आर यू रेडी बिकॉज़ आई थिंक देयर इज गोना बी अ लिटिल मिनी एशेस इन द स्टूडियो I'm just so glad that Michael Clark popped up there because before that it was Stuart Broad and Kevin Peterson and I was just waiting to see who's going to represent Australia. Are you excited for this little rivalry in our studios? No, I am. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be some good banter amongst the boys. There will be some good banter. He's actually just saving his words for that banter. We're going to loosen him up. <laughs> some very big agendas that Sunny G has already mentioned, KP already mentioned and we'll be talking about them right here over the next few minutes because it promises to be one of the biggest opening nights and the biggest opening weekends of the IPL but also Irfan it's only fair. Yeah. It's a kartavya bhi banta hai hamara. You know when we talk about recency, jo sahi maino mein sabse zyada value add deta hai. The biggest value add is players who are just so recently involved with the game, right? You are in your capacity but it's also our responsibility to groom maybe the next the voices of india's next gen yes. and i've got one more fast bowler mm -hmm. see how cricket has changed yeah. we got two proper batters but we're strengthening our bowling yeah. so ladies and gentlemen wherever you are uh, my dear friends from the press let's welcome varun aaron there we go oh there he is aaj tak ka sabse chhota run up <laughs> Varun Aaron, never seen you. Welcome on behalf of all of us. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank, you. welcome. Thank, you. thank you so much. An incredible piece of trivia. Yeah. Because there are very few cricketers who can say that we were part of a team and we captained when Emir Thoni was playing. Yeah. Would you believe it? We've got two. We got two. Steve Smith, who did that with Pune, and Varun Aaron will tell us this happened in Jharkhand as well. Varun, first things first. How excited are you? How you excited are you for this chapter? I know you've been around the studio for a lot of days. You've been putting in the hard yards just as you would when you were just bowling the snotters. Yeah, it's, it's it's really really exciting to be a part of Star Sports. Uh, to be with Irfan Bai again. The last time we were together was for Delhi Red Devils. Uh, there's a lot to obviously learn from him, and uh, I'm going to pick his brains on all the Hindi commentary. Yeah, what, one thing, stance, yeah. stance, stance. Let's let's make a stance. Commentary right stance. Two, two as the captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See now, this is there he goes. He's already <laughs> at it. He's looking at He's you from the corner of his eye. He knew that he camera will look me that. That's okay. We're 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 actually a team. This is a family world, and that's how we operate. And we hope that that's the love and the feelers that go out, you know, into living rooms when people enjoy the Tata IPL. This is one big grand Indian family. that makes us a spectacle and we're going to make it even bigger but when you talk about family events uh, steve uh, dale you probably attended too many indian gigs to know that it needs to start with some beats right it needs to start with a little <laughs> bit of groove and beats can't be repeats this grammatically did not make sense but when you see the next <laughs> offering which is our anthem which is something that the fans are always looking out for which is our friends from the media a lot of them are these new youngsters who are taking headlines to the next level Shall we? Shall yes. we? Shall we? Let's do it. The IPL anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Put on your dancing shoes. Here we go. Dil ki dhadak. 
झलक है दिखती झलक है प्रेम वही सेम नहीं कुछ अलग है मस्ती ऐसी सवार दिल में बची सितार सारे चलो मिलके देखो रंगों की बौछार साथ मिलकर टीवी पे टाटा आईपीएल होगा गजब सबका रंग दिखेगा अजब बाईस मार्च से शाम साढ़े छह बजे सिर्फ स्टार स्पोर्ट्स पर इमोशंस एंड कलर्स ऑफ इंडिया ऑल पैकेज विद अ ट्यून व्हिच इज आओ मेलो शीलो शालो दिस इज एज इंडियन इट्स इन आर डी एन एज एज मच इज द टाटा आईपीएल So I hope all of you enjoy it. These are obviously the beats that we will be grooving to. You know, we'll probably just be listening to it at night when we go to bed because all of us are going to be completely involved in this biggest extravaganza of T20 cricket. But uh, I think all the members of the press are waiting. I'm going to be opening the floor to you guys very soon because when we come down to this opening weekend, guys, everyone, I say, guys, uh, uh, all of you around me. It doesn't get bigger than that. We always call it the Great Southern Derby. It's the Chennai Super Kings, fresh from the. Oh, look at Amit Reddy. So that's why I had my eye there. You say Chennai Super Kings, and he just gets teleported back to that night. And why wouldn't he? It was such a spectacular final. But they're now set for another campaign. It's the Chennai Super Kings against the Royal Challengers from Bangalore. It doesn't get bigger than that. It's MS Dhoni. It's Virat Kohli. But first up, Chennai Super Kings. Ambati, uh, how do Chennai Super Kings? You know, when it's a new season, even though they've just won the title, how do they gear up for it? You know, how intensive would the practice already be? for that opening night i don't think there's anything intensive about csk <laughs> no we just <laughs> they just start a little early a month early so everybody tries to get into their groove get into the rhythm of things and uh, they assess and take it from there so i'm i'm sure uh, this season will not be any different and i'm sure they'll beat uh, rcb in the first game Sure, it's such a coy, cute manner. I'm sure we'll beat Arsi. When he comes here, we will tell him that you know there is a little tinge element of neutrality. That if he wants, he can bring. It's not if he wants to always be CSK at heart. I'll ask you this question when it's CSK versus MI, but that's later. But uh, Amadi, just tell us. You mentioned it starts a month before, and that's when also the eagle lands. It's my interesting Dhoni. He comes in because you also sort of experience, you know, when you're just playing IPL to IPL. MS, this is a, this is a season that he wants it to be a gift for the fans. Just tell us that month, what happens, what's on the agenda, because we just get to hear that the balls are flying outside Chepok. I think it's more about the volume because uh, we have, you know, we don't play the whole season, so there's not much cricket. So it's about getting a lot of volume in to let the instincts take over uh, in terms of batting because. mindset and mentally you're always there but uh, the body also has to listen to the mind so it is for the body to you know prepare uh, itself get the instincts going and uh, get the rhythm of things so he he does that and he also observes the team and, and the players and how they are going about who is ready who is not ready and he builds up his 12 or 13 very quietly and mm. he keeps them constant for the whole season he builds it up very quietly i mean there is that that the mystique that surrounds ms dhoni steve smith has been probably part of that i don't know steve did you ever manage to decode that little mystique that ms carries around i mean like i said very few people who've actually been captains when ms dhoni has been part of it just tell us ms dhoni one of the greatest cricketing minds ever what goes on how does he plan what is the first thing that comes to your mind 
Yeah, well, he keeps his cards pretty close to his chest, doesn't he? Uh, as Ambadi was just alluding to, I suppose. And he knows what he wants to do with the team. He's got the 12 or 13 players that, you know, he's going to keep constant throughout. And, um, you know, when it, when it comes to the pressure situations, he's Mr. Cool. So he's a, he's a leader. Uh, people follow him. And, um, yeah, no doubt Chennai are going to have another successful IPL campaign this year. Uh, you know, it does get very hot in Chennai come the end of March, April and May. And that's why everyone comes throngs to the stadiums, just for the sheer love and passion, the devotion for MS. And he also keeps everyone cool. He's a renewable source of energy, just the cool waves that comes out. Before we take this chat further, I will now take a pause and I will request our friends. This press room is your show, guys. So I would request that uh, currently, since we're talking about the opening night and we've begun talking about Chennai Super Kings, questions that you may have on this topic, I will take a few now. So we'll follow the usual hygiene. This is your press room. We'll keep it very nice and clean. Uh, so just identify yourselves. Uh, give us your name and your publication and who your question is addressed to. Where are we going first? Uh, hi, Raidu. Uh, this is Kapil Sachi from India today. So as we have seen that uh, Tony has recently returned in the Nets and is looking just fitter than ever. So Andy has also been playing those big shots with relative ease. So, do you believe that by any chance Tony can think of promoting him himself up the order in certain games, if not all? I mean, with Dhoni Bhai, you never know. But uh, knowing uh, him and knowing what has happened uh, for the last few seasons, I doubt that uh, he would really promote himself up the order. And uh, I'm sure he'll promote uh, a youngster there because Conway is injured. And I feel uh, with his batting, I'm sure he'll promote himself maybe a number or two up, but not uh, not fully into the top order. Well, we do know that when it's RCB in front of the men in yellow, MS has reserved some of his best performances. So for a neutral, for someone who just wants a few more vintage MS knocks, why not? Is this the moment? We'll talk about it on the pre-show, don't worry. I think we'll give, what, 10 minutes to this? <laughs> MS is batting water. At least 10 minutes will be reserved. Next question is coming from Ankit Banerjee. Ankit. Uh, hi, my name is Ankit Banerjee. I'm from India.com and my question is to Ambati Raidu because, of course, he's been a part of the Chennai Super Kings gang. And my question is, Ambati, uh, do you think MS Dhoni, because he had an injury last season and he spoke about the injury, how, how well is he actually, you know, recovered from that injury? Will he be able to stick around for that entire season of uh, season of 14 matches in this year's IPL where he is keeping as well, also leading the side, also batting? Can he actually do it, MS Dhoni, this season? Ambati Raidu, what do you have to say? I think uh, if he has decided to play the season and if he is even 10% fit, he will definitely play the full season. And knowing him, injury will never keep him out of a game. And uh, he he, play, he has played through many injuries. I've seen him play the last season, you know, having a very, very bad knee. So I don't think anything will stop him from playing the full season. Amati, uh, uh, since everyone is warming you up, you're getting an extended, uh, what do I say, time to knock, you know, proper drives and then pulls and cuts. We've set the nets for you. One final, <laughs> one final throwdown for you is, uh, will you also be thinking about captaincy? Because we know that Chennai have in the past once tried and then immediately course corrected. Is that something that will be on MS's mind? The transition now, later, eventually? What's your take? I mean, uh, you never know. With the super sub rule, he can, you know, the impact uh, player rule, he can uh, maybe take a back seat in a few games, try and promote uh, someone to captain in the middle. So, you know, it might be this uh, this year might be a transition year for CSK. If, if it is his last year, if he, if he decides to play a few more, then uh, he will only be the captain. I would I would personally like to see him captain the full season without uh, anything because that gives them the best chance to win the IPL. There you go. I mean, who wouldn't? That's, that's the... Uh, that's a tag that will always carry on with MS Dhoni. Who would ever not want to see MS Dhoni in the capacity not leading? I mean, you can't just put two and two together. But there is someone at the other end who continues to be as big an icon, a legend. There will be some great visuals on the opening night. If we get MS Dhoni and Virat Kohli or whenever in the tournament, you'll see a lot of them together. They've, uh, you know, in the hearts of all Indian cricket fans, albeit in different colours, come this tournament, which makes it even more special. Virat Kohli, Irfan Varun. Just quickly opening it up here. Big, big season for Virat Kohli because 
not just for the IPL, not just for RCB, but also what what more can Virat Kohli, maybe the T20 giant could become? Look, first of all, he'll be fresh. You know, guys like Virat Kohli, who are so fit, if they are fresh, they can be very dangerous for the opposition. And, uh, you know, he'll be looking forward to it as well. Looking forward to play in the IPL. I feel, personally, Jatin, he'll have a second best season of his life. Uh, this is what I feel after 2016. 973, uh, was it? Yes, absolutely. So. And uh, after that, what we have seen is, uh, it's been a roller coaster as far as the performance is concerned for those two years where he didn't perform as much. Still scored runs, but now, obviously, when you look at the two, 2022 Australia, the way he played the game mm -hmm. against Pakistan, and the way that he performed as well throughout, I'm sure he's going to be, you know, uh, doing close to what he did the best in 2016. So I'm hoping he'll have a great season and he'll be really, really ready to go uh, for RCB. And look, the one dream which is there for him and for his fan, which still he's chasing. Which, which so, we'll get Varun to say. What, yes. is, what, 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 what is, is the chant that echoes in... Isala Cup Namde. I mean, <laughs> I'm sick of hearing that. You know, I feel it's, it's high time uh, Bangalore really brought it home. Uh, I mean, Virat Kohli, just like Irfan Bhai said, he's, he's fresh and he's really hungry. He's, this, uh, he's literally this beast who uh, feeds on runs. Uh, and he hasn't got food for the last two and a half, three months. I'm sure he's going to come out, be really hungry and try to attack from ball one. And I'm sure it's on his mind as well that Bangalore had to get it this year because their fans are, are sick of it, you know. Like nowadays you ask, a, it's like a Manu fan. Guys, what's happening? They're like, don't even talk about it. Mm. So it's gotten to that, that level. So it's, I think it's high time uh, Bangalore stepped up and brought that cup home. You know, the fans just make every trip to the Chinnaswamy. Whether you make that trip or you're watching it on TV, it can give you goosebumps because they've always been like an army of fans, like they win every season. That's the love, that's the frenzy, that's the mania. Dale Stain, what's happening? Now, if you get into a little bit of tactics, you know, Virat brought his best out in the last season as well. You know, towards the end, a couple of hundreds too. Uh, he looked completely committed and then the World Cup that followed, it was amazing. How can, how can they marry the best of Virat and the best of the team to actually bring the cup home? That's a tough one. Um, I mean, RCB have had some of the best players that the IPL has seen ever uh, in their squads and somehow just haven't managed to to get over the line. I think one of I RCB's biggest hurdles is that they've never really stuck to a, a consistent bowling lineup. Every season they seem to change their bowlers and there's new bowlers that are coming in, but their batters have always remained. If you think about RCB, you think Virat, you think AB, you think Chris Gale. Um, these are guys that have just been there for a very long time, but you very rarely think of the bowlers that have been there for a period of time. Um, and maybe this year, you know, with, with one or two guys that they've bought and they've brought in, it could be this season. But, um, yeah, just like everybody else has got their team, I'm an SRH guy. So I, I'm going to say that it's going to be extremely difficult for RCB to get over the line yet again uh, with other teams that are looking good. Uh, you know, Gujarat look good. Mumbai look good. Chennai look good. Sunrisers look good. I don't think it's going to be that easy for, for RCB this year. Again, sorry guys, it's just a personal opinion. But um, Virat might have to wait one more year. See, Dale, we're trying to get these opinions for the fans. Because the beauty of this league is that a few days in, before the opening clash, uh, the very fact that you can't just say, these other two teams are other favourites, is what is credit to the league. <laughs> That's how big the league is. That's why we call it the toughest T20 league in the world. Uh, Steve Smith, uh, the big Cameron Green, does his arrival make life a little easier, maybe on the big boys at RCB? And do you also believe that it's not just about the big boys, it's about the 11? What do RCB need to fix for you? Yeah, that's right. I don't think just one or two players can uh, win you a tournament. You need consistent performances throughout from, from everyone in the 11 and, um, and people playing their roles. So, you know, I think Cameron Green's a great addition. Um, you know, we saw what he did last year with Mumbai, the talent he possesses with both bat and ball. Um, you know, he can take a game away from you. So, um, you know, he's looking forward to a fresh start. I know at, at Bangalore, uh, he's excited to play with the likes of uh, Virad and Faf and um, Siraj, guys like that, and just try and learn as much as he can off them. But um, yeah, he's uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how he fares this this IPL. That's for sure. Yeah, we will tell Faf that Dale Stain picked SRH led by Pat Cummins and not RCB led by <laughs> Faf Duplessis. It's the IPL, guys. It divides. <laughs> it divides. But later they get together. Dale's got a very nice frame. You see something behind his back over the right over that in the evening. It's all forgotten. It's all forgotten. I, I see Prabhu. He's, he's, he's raised his hands and then I'll come to the other one. Uh, Prabhu, uh, go on. 
MS, uh, all excited MS has uh, landed uh, in uh, Chennai. Uh, so I have two questions for Ambati. One is uh, if if he could talk us through, you know, how he felt when he was uh, called in for the stage to receive the trophy last year. It's a good transition uh, for him to be playing the playing eleven on the stage with the trophy, and then now on the commentary panel talking about the team. That's the first question. And uh, second is about MS vintage look with the long hair because he had a knee surgery the next day after IPL. That's the dedication we see from our uh, captain Cole. And now he's back, but I think all attention on his hair and the vintage look this time. So uh, two questions on that. To Ambati. Yeah. I'm wondering I'm if wondering MS is back. <laughs> <laughs> Ambati. Yeah, I think uh, you know that is uh, typical uh, Tony boy. He wanted to show his appreciation to Jaddu and me, especially because I was retiring. That was my last game, and uh, you know it was very, very special. And I would, I would, I would take it to my grave. I would say. And and the second question, uh, yeah, in terms of me, CSK as a happy Tommy will Tommy Apizio <laughs> will tell you more about it. There are a lot of injections that go in <laughs> before <laughs> before the season starts because they're all old legs. And uh, Tony Boy is no different, and, and his vintage hair, yeah, he he had it in 2003 if I was not wrong, and yeah, he looks. I don't know if it's good or not, but uh, <laughs> it brought him a lot of luck, and I hope uh, <laughs> I hope it brings a lot of luck to CSK as well now. If he asked you this in the dressing room, Ambati, how does it look? What would you have said? Very nice. <laughs> 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 Come on, give an answer. I think I think Varun, I think Varun might be able to answer it better. I mean, you just got to say it's very nice. What, what options do you have? You can't tell him. Listen, you're not looking nice. <laughs> Varun, Varun was with Gujarat Titans when they lifted the trophy, and he simplified things like Nehraji did there. Yeah, absolutely. He's followed, he's followed that. I, just, I this think, is one right answer. I don't think anybody has the courage to say it's not nice. <laughs> well, we would just say, I mean, long hair, very good. Luxury, enjoy it. <laughs> Nikhil Bapat, uh, we're going to him for the next question. Nikhil, where are you? Yeah, hi, I am Nikhil Bapat from ETV Bharat. Uh, recently, we had a chat with Irfan, where Irfan said that it will be difficult for Hardik Pandya to lead Mumbai Indians since he is coming back to the franchise. So, I just want to ask Dale Stain, do you agree with Irfan's opinion that it will be hard for Hardik Pandya to lead Mumbai Indians? Where he is coming back from Gujarat Titans, and just to add to my question, how difficult it will be for Rohit Sharma to play under Irfan Patan? First of all, yeah, under Irfan Patan, Irfan, you're captaining Mumbai. Yeah. So first of all, there is a difference between difficult and challenging. So I said challenging. Challenging mm. was mm. was my word, and uh, yeah, I stick to that. Yes, Dale. Yeah, I think it will be challenging. Um, just the dynamics of leaving Mumbai and then coming back to Mumbai. But you know how the IPL works, uh, as Ambatu Radu. Uh, referred to earlier these guys sometimes get get to the camp a month before the first game starts i know sunrises have gotten together almost a week ago so by the time the first game kind of comes around uh, all the history that may have happened in the past and everything like that kind of sometimes fizzles out and and you know that it's now game time it's ipl time it's action time so anything that's that's kind of bothering everybody or anything like that kind of gets ironed out before the first game and then as the tournament gets going, you start to see if there is cracks or if there isn't any cracks. Now, these guys have played cricket for a long time. they um, international cricketers. Uh, they know how to put their egos aside and just get on with it. So I think as the tournament goes on, they, they're professional. It's Mumbai. They, they'll be totally fine. Um, but it will be challenging. Um, that's for sure. You've got big um, personalities, guys that have done the job before. When it comes crunch time to making decisions as to who to bowl or what tactic to use, that might be the little needle that we might not be able to see or, or hear on TV. But um, those things generally get ironed out as the competition goes. Okay, this is Noel here. Uh, my question is for Steve Smith. Uh, Steve, uh, do you think Pat Cummins will be able to turn around the fortunes of Sunrise in Hyderabad, uh, you know, which will possibly be a continuation of his impeccable leadership skills? Yeah, look, I think you'll do a great job for Hyderabad. Um, working with Dan Vittori, the new coach, um, you know, they've got a rapport. They work together at Australia with um, Vittori being the assistant coach. So, you know, they work really well together. And, um, yeah, he seems to play extremely well when he's got leadership as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how, how, the, how Hyderabad fare this year. 
Uh, Varun, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to say a quick goodbye for now thank because this is just one studio. We were at Star Sports. We got some more shows that you got to be a part of. Thanks but uh, we just wanted Cheers. everyone to see that we've got a young gun who's joining us here. So we'll see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you. Excellent. Really excited. Cheers, Amar. Yeah. We could probably uh, go with you to the gym as well during the <laughs> tournament and <laughs> make sure we don't put on <laughs> extra calories. But there's one man who does not put on any extra calories, you can be sure of. Whether or, or he never not goes to the gym. We are talking about Virat Kohli. We've got a new song for him. You know, you know how creators, and this is a world currently which is run by creators, they're dedicated, they worship their heroes, and they come up with some incredible stuff which everyone enjoys. And here at Star Sports, we've got something special. There is a song dedicated to Virat Kohli which has been composed by Burra. Uh, let's listen in. Yeah. Uh, that's a song that's been sung by Bura and composed by Akshay Raj Shinde. Well done, guys. Keep sending in everything, you know, because we are talking about the biggest IPL on TV. But remember, our digital community that belongs to Star Sports is over 50 million strong. And we've got you covered on every platform. Once again, in case you've just joined us, this is Press Room. This is a show that will come to you every week where we'll be talking about the biggest topics in the biggest league and we give that access to all our friends from the press access to our incredible star cast that currently features Steve Smith, Ambati Raidu and Dale Stin alongside Irfan Pathan. Next time they'll all be here as well in real. Uh, next question where is it coming from? Uh, is it coming from PTI? Yes, Christian, go ahead. Uh, hello Dale, we're just speaking about uh, Virat Kohli. Uh, he hasn't played too much cricket uh, since January. Uh, in that sense, you know, uh, this, I, and this IPL is uh, followed by the T20 World Cup as well. So, in that sense, uh, how important it is for him to uh, get some runs uh, in this IPL? Yeah, so very Kohli scoring runs this season. I think, look, it's very important that he does score runs. But at the end of the day, I look at runs the same way that you look at someone's bank balance, so to speak. You know, and, and Virat, he's got stacks and stacks of runs that he's stored up over many years. And that's going to work and well going through to a World Cup. And when India are looking to pick a team that goes to the World Cup, they're going to look for guys that have been there, done that. And that's something that Virat's done. So it's extremely important that he does score runs this IPL because it will put him in good form going to the World Cup. But in terms of a selection or a place, um, I think that's safe to say that Virat will be going there. There's many guys that have leapfrogged him currently because he's taken a bit of a break and there's many contenders that are, are possible to take to that World Cup. But when you like look at world cups and you look at who gets you over the line most of the time it's guys that have been there done that experienced players and virat is certainly one of those guys well we are talking about virat kohli someone who uh, features in the greatest of all time debates uh, an integral part of the fab four just like steve smith steve let me just quickly get your take on virat you know there is obviously a lot of chatter when you talk about a batsman who's excelled across formats and we're looking at this extremely modern day t20 cricket strike rates seem to dominate but when it comes to situations that sometimes you've seen only Someone of the pedigree of Virat can, you know, get India out or RCB out of. You know, your take on Virat, 
uh, the T20 match winner. Will he have this this excessive strike rate chat going on in his mind? Do you think he'll add another gear? What's your take on it? I think what you see with Virat is he'll play the situation that's in front of him. Um, you know, some wickets that you play on, your strike rate doesn't need to be as high. You play the situation according to what, what's in front of you. And we've seen Virat play some masterclass innings and get the team over the line, whether it be RCB or India. And, you know, I've been on the opposition of the uh, of, in the Australian team when he's done it against us on numerous occasions. So um, what we know is he, he plays extremely well under pressure. He loves the pressure situations. And uh, as Dale just alluded to, I think it's those players you want in your team when you go into a World Cup and you're facing pressure situations. You, you want the experienced players and people that stand up in those occasions more often than not. And Virat's certainly one of those. Big, big opening night. CSK versus RCB, but it's also a big opening weekend that we're looking at. All teams in action, some other very big narratives. The return of the prodigal son. Everyone's waiting on Rishabh Pant. So good to see him back. His chirpy best declared fit by the NCA. Uh, there is RR in action. There is LSG in action. MIGT. So much to talk about. Where's the next question coming from? Uh, from the, In the Star Sports press room. Rishikesh from Nabharat Times. Hello everyone, my question is for Ambati Raidu. Ambati, a few days ago you said that you want to see Rohit Sharma to play for Chennai Super Kings next season. But as we know, Rohit has been playing for Mumbai for 13, 14 years. 14 years. So, so, how it will be difficult for Rohit to play for Chennai Super Kings after playing so many years for Mumbai? And as we know, Mumbai Indians and Chennai Super Kings is like Real Madrid and Barcelona. I told that it will be, it is my opinion or you know, I, I never said that he would play for Chennai Super Kings. So it is up to CSK and Rohit. But end of the day, I think it's not so difficult to go from Mumbai to CSK as you have seen uh, Harbhajan Singh do it, I have done it. So you know, the transition is quite smooth and CSK is a great team to play for. And I'm sure uh, he'll have a great time <coughs> in the last phase of his career if he, if he does that. Ambatinos will be asking a lot of MI and CSK. The two dressing rooms will be asking Ambati Raidu. We'll be asking Harbhajan Singh too, because he's part of our incredible star cast as well. Uh, Aditya from ETV Bharat, this is your time now. Where are you? Yeah. So, my question is to Irfan actually. Uh, considering we have Yashashu Jaiswal, Rohit Sharma, and uh, Shubman Gil at the top in T20 World Cup. Uh, what will be uh, your opinion on uh, Ishan Kishan, KL Rahul and uh, uh, even Sanju Samson to play in the middle order in their respective IPL teams uh, so that they can prepare for the T20 World Cup? Look, it's very difficult for anyone uh, to think that, you know, guys like uh, Ishan Kishan who actually bats sub the order and uh, suddenly Mumbai Indians thinks because, you know, there is a World Cup then he'll, have, he'll be batting at, uh, in the middle orders. It doesn't work like that because every franchise wants their player to bat at certain numbers. Ideally, yes, Indian cricket is bigger than anyone, uh, you know, any franchise cricket or anything else. Uh, but when it comes to franchise cricket, every cricketer wants to do well, but every franchise wants the best position for their particular player. And this is where they're going to use them. I think Ishan Kishan is going to bat up the order. Sanju Samson is going to bat where he bats for Rajasthan Royals. And, uh, you know, the uh, only thing is very interesting is KL Rahul. KL Rahul has actually done something very different. He's actually gone out of his skin, uh, you know, batting up the order to bat in the middle order, hopefully in this season, where he has done it for Indian team. So he's the only case which is actually, he, I think that's what he has done. Like he's taking his own decision by batting in the middle order. But generally, if you talk about the franchise, franchise wants to win, win the tournament and want their, uh, their best player to bat at their particular position. I think, I think what makes it an even bigger edition of the IPL is because you are talking about from a country point of view, especially after the emotions still riding high after the previous World Cup, that there is another World Cup which is just to follow. So there will be so many more narratives. You want to see how the youngsters are doing in those respective positions. Yeah. What have they added to the game? There is so much that just adds value to this. But uh, there's another massive value add. That's the return of Rishabh Pant. Ask anyone from Delhi. Forget that. Ask anyone who loves cricket. Anyone who's seen his jovial self for what he's already achieved for India. So, Rishabh, if you're watching the Star Sports Press Room, we're so happy, brother Matt. We just met him when we did, uh, you know, his incredible journey on Believe. He's still young. You know, Irfan, you have to remind yourself that Rishabh is talking like you 
see glimpses a little bit of ms yeah. but now his outlook towards life yeah. is a lot different <clears throat> and he just feel like hey rishabh what's your age again you're still young but <laughs> that's he's learned a lot yeah. but now he'll be back on to the field yeah. steve smith delhi capitals delhi capitals we last saw you in that jersey uh, the exuberance of rishabh pant is what we were talking about which comes to the stump mics and you know he's offered his uh, great services outside the field to some of your australian teammates as well uh, to babysit and other other things uh, but rishabh pant <laughs> rishabh pant the cricketer what does it mean to delhi capitals and just again how tricky would it be for him to come back from such a massive scare being away from the game and just keeping in mind fitness I mean, it's great to just have him back in the game, isn't it? Um, after such a horrible accident, to, to have him out playing cricket again and, and featuring the IPL, I think it's exciting for everyone. Um, the things that he can do on the field, not many people can do. Um, the way he goes about his business, second to none, and um, you know, it's great to have him back. And he's a obviously a huge addition for Delhi. Um, yeah, what he can achieve out there and, and help them make some big runs and. help in the decision making as well he's obviously he's, like you said he's young but he's also played a lot of cricket now he understands the game and um yeah he's a, a huge addition for delhi this year so you got that's another thing so many young indian captains we are talking about tomorrow who has what to offer you talking about rishabh pant we'll talk about shubman gill uh there there is there is a lot this is the tata ipl we'll probably run out of time but this is just a little appetizer uh next question is it coming from the hindu Yeah hi uh, this is Shreema Ramanujam from the Hindu Metro Plus and my question is for uh, Ambati Raidu um Ambati can you tell us what explains uh, CSK's connect with its fans uh, i know i mean it's important to win and they have won on a lot of occasions now but the team and especially you know MSG whom we call Tala locally here uh, is uh, an integral part of the socio cultural milieu among Tamil youngsters, memes, movies, and things like that. What explains this connect with fans? I think uh, the biggest connect is uh, CSK. Being CSK is very, very homely. It is like a team, you know, like how you sit in your living room. That is how CSK is. They're very approachable. Even in the hotel, people come and meet players, take photographs. Even while going to the ground, you meet players. They, you allow people to come and watch training. So they all. Uh, feel a sense of connect they feel like it's their uh, their own team so they feel like they are playing in the team they are part of the team so that that makes the whole csk family a whole lot bigger i would say so i think it it has spread across the world now and they have a huge fan base and this is so so lucky to have such a such a huge fan base and uh, and most importantly they are ms dhoni's fans first and then csk's fans it's not the other way around so it is it is he who brings everybody together the whole csk and the whole tamil speaking population as well as all all over the world whoever loves csk he is he is that one pillar that everybody looks up to yeah and he looks very good on the pillar outside chepok That's the first daunting thing that the other teams have to see when they enter the dressing room. You've sort of humanized it a bit, Ambati, but this is always such an interesting chat, right? I mean, the enigma. I mean, you're talking about someone who sits in the pantheons of greats, MS Dhoni, but they try to humanize it beautifully put by Ambati Raidu. Uh, Megha from Times Now, we're heading uh, in your direction now. My question is for Irfan. So I wanted to ask, uh, you know, uh, considering Rishabh Pant's fitness right now, although he has got a clearance, do you think uh, DC will still risk in uh, playing him as a wicketkeeper batter or a, just a specialist batter? But they will look for him as a, you know, first of all as a batter. He, he needs to be there as a batter because he is the one who has been missed uh, throughout uh, the last year as well. Uh, and especially with Delhi Capitals, if you look at their team, the middle order muddle, you know, middle muddle. What they say has been has been troubling them for some time now. So if Rishabh Rishabh Pant comes in and just play as a batter, they'll be good enough. Uh, as far as the keeping is concerned, they have another option. They have another good option in Indian domestic cricket. Uh, Kush, uh, Kushagra. So in in that way, he can actually be very beneficial, and he's a very exciting cricketer. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, Kushagra. not only the wicket keeping, but he's batting. I've seen some of the glimpses of uh, you know some of the highlights I've seen. I've been very impressed with his batting. Uh, but when it comes to Rishabh Pant, we all are looking forward to you know just for him to be just out, just go out there and play. For me, if he start as a batter and his fitness is really good throughout the season, as the season progresses, then he takes the keeping gloves. 
I won't mind that. Yeah. But you don't want to miss out the services of Rishabh Pant by putting so much pressure of uh, him leading the side, him wicket keeping, him batting the uh, you know batting at the crucial time. Don't put too much pressure on him. Just take it easy at the start. Yeah, it's Rishabh because we are well wishers and we love you so much. We we're, we're okay yeah. if you're not part of our incredible star cast of commentary from the stump mic for some time. It's okay. Yeah. You can always chirp and talk when you're batting. We'll be fine. We we'll put the stump mic level up. Uh, Pratyek Tiwari, uh, we're heading for your question now. My question is to Irfan Bhai. Uh, this year, the IPL is going to have two bouncers. Uh, it's a significant change. Uh, perhaps not being talked about as much. But how do you see the game dynamic being changed overall? And you are best suited to answer the question since you are an all-rounder. So. Uh, as a batter, as a bowler, both the dressing room. What we have right now in the stars, for two guys are smiling a lot more. Me and Dale Stain, because of the yeah. rules. Uh, so, so when that happened, <laughs> uh, look, uh, it, it, we, we need something as bowlers. You know, we know that the game has been very much towards the batters as far as the rules are concerned as well. There is a there is a new ball. There is a free hit. Uh, you know now you know the pitches are really flat as well there is a little margin we get as a as a bowler when it comes to bowling wide of the line as well so if we have some sort of margin towards us bowling one more extra bouncer batsman will think twice to actually go on the front foot so uh, having this rule will definitely have a benefit uh, as far as the bowlers are concerned but bowling bouncer is a very very special ability you know not just because the rules are there not anyone can just come in and bowl bouncer so Team will have to identify who can actually bowl those bouncers regularly, and if we can, if we can feel them, uh, you know, it will be very interesting uh, going forward. This rule, I'm very excited about this, and if that happens, uh, you know, there'll be a big challenge, uh, you know, to the batters. Uh, Con control your emotions. I also have yeah, Amrithi right I, 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 I want to just go out there and bowl again. <laughs> <laughs> Amrithi had a little smirk, a little smile on his face. You know, because you, you think a bouncer, yeah. you think Amrithi <laughs> right, and you know the hooks come out. Maybe some have sailed. Maybe yeah. some have gone over for a wide. Actually, let me just get both your perspectives on it. Amrithi Raidu and Steve Smith, two bouncers. Two bouncers, so the guessing games with the bowler can carry on. What does it do from a batter's point of view? I think... Uh, you go first hand, buddy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, Steve, you're taking strike. You want me to go? Alright, uh, I like it. I think it, um, having played in teams in the past, I think sometimes the bowler is reluctant to bowl his bouncer early in the over. Um, you want to sort of wait, wait it out and make sure it's in the back of the batsman's mind. But when you've got two of them, I think that takes that out of play and um, you can bowl two. So, no, I think it's a good rule. No, that's from the bowler's point of view, Steve. From now a batter's point of view. <laughs> you're, you're, you're happy, you're happy. No, I think it's a fair, I think it's a fair view. I think it's fair. There you go. It's just one thing to oh, add. Yeah. I think a lot of uh, lot of overseas fast bowlers mm. gonna use that weapon against a lot of Indian young domestic uh, batters. Mm. So that will be interesting, you know, how those Indian young yeah. batters yeah. take that challenge. Yeah, they were probably uh, it would be exercise more in practice. Ambati, come on, tell us, decode that smile for us with the two bouncer rule. I think I have a contrary view to what Irfan is saying. I would I would think it would confuse the bowlers a lot more in terms of field settings and uh, in two bouncers. You know, eventually they would have to set their fields accordingly. And if they don't set their fields and bowl two bounces, they are actually falling in a trap. So I think it will work out as an advantage to the batsman. That that is fun actually, fun because also there's a timer, right? <laughs> the timer will be on too. Like, are you yeah. changing fields? You you only might want to do it for three balls, and you have to bowl two bounces. Wow, Ambati, wow, <laughs> amazing! Well done, well done. This is fun. This should be a lot of fun, but. Uh, uh, Noel, I think we've got time for one more question. Yeah, my question is uh, to Steve. Uh, Steve, uh, basically, Virat Kohli's run rate at the Chepok has been considerably less for the during the IPL. Uh, how do you see him approach this opening game against CSK? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I think at times it can be difficult to, to score runs quickly there. Um, you know, the spinners usually come into play. There's quite a bit of turn and the wicket can sometimes be on the slower side and guys changing pace and rolling their fingers over the ball can be difficult to get away. And I think that's why Chennai have been so successful um, playing in Chennai. So, um, you know, I think Virat will, will go out and just um, take the game on as he normally does. He'll, he'll see what's in front of him and, and just play what he wants to play, which is in front of him. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, it's uh, it's a few runs. Right, okay. We also, I think there's just one final narrative that I just want to quickly pick uh, the brains of uh, 
uh, some of our experts here. Dale's already answered that. MIGT, we're talking about someone who comes back, Hardik Pandya, with, with a lot more under his belt, taking a new team to great heights for two back-to-back -back seasons. Uh, Ambati, Dale said, you know, professionals, will, it might be challenging, but a team like Mumbai will be very professional about it. Mumbai Indians, Rohit Sharma, these are two names that you know very well. And this, this tricky transition Mumbai had, had to do in 2013, where it was Rohit Sharma, who was the, the young Turk, who was handed over the reins of a team. How are you looking at this transition? Hardik Pandya taking over captaincy for the Mumbai Indians and Rohit Sharma still being such an integral part of the team. I mean, no one could ever question his legacy. He's the first name, first chapter for MI. But how does this season and this combination play out for you? I think the earlier transition was quite easier because, uh, I mean, uh, it was Ricky Ponting at the end of his career and Rohit was just starting. So it was quite easy in terms of transition. But now, I think Rohit is still the captain of India. This will be quite a challenge for Hardik, especially not for Rohit because Rohit, being a professional, will come out and uh, really do his batting, really, you know, get his form in T20 for the World Cup. So it will be easier on Rohit, but for Hardik to lead a side that has had such a legacy of winning five tournaments, being so successful, and it's a completely different setup to GT. So he is going to, you know, and being an all-rounder, he has to bowl, he has to bat, he has to captain, and he has to attend all the meetings that MI has. So it will be, it will be quite a challenge for him. And uh, but knowing, knowing MI, they'll find a way to be successful. There you go, Steve. It couldn't have been easy when you had to go through that transition. Yeah, look, I, I think, um, you know, it's been touched upon in, in this segment. I think the, the two people are professionals and they'll just get on with it. I think initially it'll look a little bit different. Uh, we're accustomed to seeing Rohit in charge of Mumbai. Um, he's been there for a very long time. And uh, now Hardik taking the reins. I think he's, he's got a terrific cricket brain. Um, you know, he's had some success captaining, um, you know, with, with um, Gujarat and coming across to Mumbai, he's in familiar territory as well. He's obviously played a lot of cricket there. So I think it'll be a, a strange look to begin with, as I said, but I, I think it'll be a pretty smooth transition. I think people will get used to it pretty quickly. For all you know, I mean, everyone's just waiting for Rohit to come out open. You get a feeling that he's again going through this beautiful period. If I'm in bowlers, better watch out, or at least that's something that MI would be hoping for, you know, just something to un un unlock, unleash, because whenever the IPL comes, we've always spoken about the million dollar question. Rohit Sharma, when you look at the 16 seasons in the IPL, yeah. probably expects so much more, and rightly so. I'm sure, so does even Rohit. So he's now going for impact. Are you expecting a big blockbuster season for Rohit? Yeah, absolutely. But look, what kind of player he has been? He's been a match winner. Uh, the mm -hmm. kind of uh, man of the match award he has. You know, yeah. he's actually won the you know nearly the most n number of man of the matches award in in the IPL when it comes to uh, winning matches for his team. So this is the kind of player. And I think rather than talking about the kind of uh, how many runs he's going to score, the kind of impact he's going to mm -hmm. create that is most important. That, that is what Mumbai Indians should look to do it as well. He has never done it. Like mm -hmm. when it comes to having 600, 700 runs a mm -hmm. season. Uh, so why expect now? Just ask him to just come and play the way he's playing for the last two years. Just bludgeon the bowlers from the start mm -hmm. and take the game on his, uh, on his head. And if he can do that, uh, he will win you games. You know, it might be just 40 runs, 50 runs, 60 runs. Because sometimes, even their captain, Hardik yeah. Pandya, says 50s and 100 is uh, very yeah. overrated. That's what yeah. he says. So, it will be the same thing for Rohit Sharma as well. So, hoping he'll have a great season and that will be good for Indian cricket as well. Good for Indian cricket. That's MI versus GT. That is going to be a charged up game. Everyone's uh, going to wait for that Sunday night. Again, it's part of the opening weekend. Okay, cricket narratives aside, there are some commentary box narratives too. Uh, let's go straight to Ambati Raidu and Steve Smith first. Who are you most looking forward to working with, sharing the mic with? Steve Smith, please tell us. Oh, I think uh, Stuart Broad, um, <laughs> you know, English counterpart. Uh, there's always good rivalry amongst the Australian and the English. So I'm sure we're going to have some, some good fun and uh, throw out some good banter out there. You're not going to let him change the position of the bales at the other end of the comm box, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Dale, uh, Dale Stain is a veteran now. Dale Stain is a veteran. Dale, who has... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's not really the question I should be asking a few days before the opening day. Uh, because, but we will, maybe midway point, we'll say who's getting under your skin. 
We, we wanted to be <laughs> candid. We wanted to be honest. <laughs> but whose company do you enjoy the most? Right now, you're positioned right next to your fan on the screen. <laughs> I, I enjoy everyone, to be honest with you. I'm, and you call me a veteran, but I am new in this game. And uh, the, what I've what I've seen over the years that I've been doing this is just the actual umpire, uh, the commentators. When I was playing, I always thought the commentators were against me. And now that I'm in the com box, I see the professionalism that they that they show. Their prep, as as Smithy was referring to earlier, he needs to understand all the matchups that are happening, so that when he goes out and he speaks to the audience, he's um he's talking the right thing. And and all these commentators do that and every time I work with one I see how differently they operate and it's really good to to see that it makes my my little bit a little bit better and I've got my little book yeah and these are the things that you learn from Ian Bishop you know through to through to Pommy and Bangwa so all the guys uh, are always great to work with must admit I've heard this from so many big cricketers when they come here some of them have been very honest just to say when I was on the other side I looked at them and said mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, not when your call time is three hours before the first player lands up on the field not then not then okay it's time for some predictions I think it's only fair the the only exercise which when done before the tournament starts do see commentators go Give it some time, guys. But that's the fun. That's the fun. Predictions. Fans love it. Uh, we will start with the top four. We will start with the top four. A long way to go for the playoffs. But your favorite top four is Irfan Patan. The senior most. The senior most. I'm, I'm going to hold my horses. I'm no, sorry. That's no, not, listen, no, 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 listen, no, no, listen, no, no, listen, no, 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 no. No, no, no. This is the Star Sports press room. Listen to me. What I'm going to say is I'm going to give my prediction for top four after the first one week. First seven days. But I'll say on paper, what are the teams looking really nice to, to go for, for top four? Mumbai Indians looking very strong. Uh, Chennai, you always uh, count them, despite them having so many trouble. Uh, they have injuries with Conway, Deepak Chas coming back, but yeah. you have charisma of Mahindra Singh Dhoni, so you always uh, push them. Uh, Lucknow Super Giants, very consistent team. They're okay. looking very strong on the on the MICSK, yeah. LSG, fourth. Yeah. Just give me the fourth uh, name. I'll, I'll give you five. <laughs> no, I just want four. K K K R. So I'm not. No, I K is not taking the rule. K K R. If they have a condition, uh, or you know. No, this is prediction. No, no, have no, no, no logic. No, I'm just telling prediction. It's just gut feeling. <laughs> no, it's okay if you're wrong. Gut feeling. Okay, we will get it out there. Let's see what you got. And I'll give you Punjab five. Sorry, Punjab fifth. Fifth. It finds first team ever. Come on, it's guys, fifth on the give, prediction. Don't give top four. These are, it's too early. These are, it's too early. Guys, I will <laughs> <laughs> choose your company wisely. <laughs> these were Irfan's predictions for the first week. No. <laughs> There'll be a round two. There'll be a round two. But for the moment, go ahead, print them out. <laughs> no. Uh, Ambati? Yeah, I think uh, CSK. Okay, yeah, I should have asked you three. Am the I? remaining three, yeah. Shock me. <laughs> Shock me. <laughs> Am I LSG? I would love to see SRH, but uh, I think it will be RCB. Uh, he, he, he lives in Hyderabad. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm a Hyderabadi. So All the neighbors watching the show. He would love to see Hyderabad. He did say that, remember it. But the prediction is RCB. Steve Smith. Yeah, I've got uh, Mumbai, Lucknow, Delhi and Chennai. Mumbai, Lucknow, Delhi and Chennai. He's given us a good reason uh, to believe there might be a new champion. Dale Sen, finish it off in style. Yeah, I've, I've got SRH, obviously. Um, I feel like they've got a, a, a great squad this year. They've got some of the best international players. We really need the local players to kick in, and then that's what the IPL is about, isn't it? It's your local players. You've got the best local players, you seem to find a way. Um, CSK, obviously, MI are, are always going to be up there. And there's there's room for one more team, and I'm not too sure who it is right now. It could be any one of the, any one of the rest of the teams, but I'd say those three teams um, are certainly going to finish in the top four. Dale, if I don't, if I don't poke you a bit more to get an answer out, what's your top four? I will four, never mate? hear Come the on. end. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Hey, we're, we're, we're on a show together. We're on a show together. I like experts on the same page. Uh, fourth team, Dale. We need your fourth team. I'm gonna go one that that nobody said so far. That I'm gonna say uh, Gujarat Titans. I'm there we go. That name out there. Who knows? I'm with Earth. It could change. It could change. Who knows? There you go. But Good we should time. be allowed to change after one week because you know what this IPL is. Different. That is, I'll that tell you is why. logic. 
Prediction is. I'll I'll tell you why because this see only till seven that schedule has been announced. Yeah. Then there will be another schedule. Then you don't know where the. Tariq pe tariq schedule. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Give But us, prediction give is prediction. No. <laughs> you give us some breather. Well, you heard it. If if you're quoting it, just say Irfan Patan <laughs> said on the Star Sports press room. <laughs> His top four. That's the top four. Go ahead. I don't know. We, okay, we'll bring him on the show in the second episode as well. Uh, one final uh, prediction that we need from the two batters, uh, the leading run getter. Who do you think is going to get the orange cap? Yeah, Shubman last season. Uh, I've got Guy Quad. I think he's, uh, you know, he's such an exciting young player. He's going to face a lot of balls up the top of the order, and um, yeah, I think he's going to score the most runs this year. Uh, Ambadi, right? You have to change your answer. <laughs> 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 that was going to be yours, wasn't it? Can yeah. I? True and true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think it will be backward, but uh, knowing knowing the team that wins the Orange Cap seldomly wins the IPL, so I I hope it is Yashasvi Jaiswal. No, Yashasvi Jaiswal. And the Orange scores are runless. A run. We'll take that. We'll take that. Two Indian youngsters with so much promise. I mean, what better could it be? Uh, should I ask you, Dale? Just quickly, I mean, only because you know it was Faf Duplessis who wasn't too far from Shubman. I wasn't going to ask, ask you the leading run getters, but come on, guys, give me your leading run getters as well. Quick, quick, quick! No explanation, just the name. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Irfan, if you got <sighs> in your can mind, can I throw Faf in there? Uh, Faf or Virat, probably. Pick one. Virat. Last season, Faf was second Virat. and Virat was fourth. Virat. Virat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go with Virat. Virat mm-hmm. Kohli. Okay. Irfan. Virat and Yashashmi. Yes, they get so one gets the red cap, runs. one gets the yellow cap, and together it becomes orange. Yeah, cap. orange. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay, yes. okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, purple cap. What? Oh, blue and white. What do we mix? <laughs> Shami is injured, right? Bhuvi. Yeah, Shami is injured. So, Shami is not going to be there, unfortunately. Dale, if you're ready, you can fire. Anyone who's ready, come on. I'm short on time uh, here, guys. Uh, purple Bhuvi. cap. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar is my man. Bhuvi for the yeah. comeback. I think he's going to oh. put it in his hand for a comeback. Absolutely. Like it, like it. Okay, who's who's nice. ready? I've got Mitchell Stark. Mmm, purple cap in purple and gold. Okay, right, Ambati. I think I'll go with a spinner. Who is it? Jadeja, Mohin Ali, Mahesh Tikshana. Who do you want to go with? <laughs> Rashid Khan. <laughs> okay, Rashid Khan. Okay, he's gone for Rashid Khan. Always there and thereabouts. A leg spinner. Let's go. Kuldeep. 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 Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> so many names. Okay, uh, gentlemen. I hope and for a couple of you, this is your first real tryst, a longish show that you've done. Did you enjoy the Star Sports press room, the debut episode? A couple of our real debutants. It was fun. Yeah, enjoyed it. Good banter. <laughs> Lovely. I mean, can't just wait to have you guys here, and especially uh, we kept the best for the last. Everybody, I'll tell you, Steve Smith. Whenever he's prepping for a tour, he's always making headlines with his preparation. So don't just think that Steve Smith is prepping for the English show. Hindi? Yeah. What? You don't trust me? Okay. Steve's already got a <laughs> Hindi coach, a language coach, and you want to see what level he's at right now? Yeah, please. See, have a look. See, have a look. Everybody, have a look. I'm literally just standing here by myself with a green screen behind me, and और मैं अपनी आँखों से आपको और ये कैमरा की तरफ बस देख रहा हूँ। तो हाँ, ये एक इंटरेस्टिंग तरीका और एक्सपीरियंस है और मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा मज़ा आ रहा है। आपको मज़ा आ रहा? हमसे भी पूछ लो भाई। This is ये लगान वाली डबिंग नहीं है। ये लगान वाली डबिंग नहीं है। Dale, how was that? आपको कि Dale? No, that's 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 pretty good. I can only say Sundar. Sundalurki, that's about it, really. Bahat, bahat sundar Steve, you can say. Bahat achhe Steve. Bahat sundar Steve. Steve, tell us how many hours of coaching did that take before I reveal the secret? Yeah, lots. It was pretty impressive, wasn't it? It was damn good. It's pretty damn good. Now let me just tell you, how did we manage to do it? I mean, we are living in the world of artificial intelligence, yeah. right? And this is stop AI. The words that were translated via AI into Hindi 
were exactly what Steve Smith had said in English. And the voice that you heard, we fed so much audio of Steve Smith to our system that it will be exactly the same. So, Steve Smith could be featuring on any of our shows, which are going to come to you in nine languages over 11 feeds on the Star Sports Network. For what? We're hoping and promise to turn it into the biggest IPL on TV ever. Thank you very much, Steve Smith. Your Hindi is la jawab. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll, tell the, I'll tell your part. I'll tell the part. Uh, great to have you, Ambati. Can't wait to see you guys in person. Next time you're here, you'll all be here. I'm done with the screen. Only on the screen for you guys to do game plans. Uh, big thank you to all our members from the press who joined us here. Uh, this is the Star Sports Press Room. This is a show that's been designed for you guys so that every week you get some time with our experts and uh, just you know, allow us to turn this spectacle to reach every single Indian, no matter where they are and no matter how they want to enjoy it. So, Star Sports Press Room, we'll wait for you next week. We'll have our journals joining us there. Irfan Patan, call times are going to be an hour earlier because we've got a lot more to offer. There are new shows, there are new feed, there's new technology. We need some training. You ready? Look forward to it. Amazing. Madaiga, bye. Yes. Madaiga. Nice to it. Hamesha ki tere. Bhot bhot shukriya. Amare saath june ke liye. So much build up that has already started, but we're adding layers to it every passing minute on the Star Sports Network. After all, it is the Tata IPL.